Hey everybody, it is Tuesday evening, the uh, 4th of May 2010, and we had a sell-off here today. We, recently, we've seen the heavier volume that we've been pointing out on the downside days, and uh, finally that culminated today in a break below the important support level that we've been watching at 108.50. So, as I've been saying, the if we were to break below and hold below that 108.50 level for more than a half hour or so, it would signal that uh, there was probably a further bout of profit profit taking that would be coming that would likely lead to at least a test of the 50 day moving average if not a test of the January highs in the S&P 500. It seems as though a lot of people are calling this 50 day moving average as a successful test. Look back in January when we saw uh, the last time that the 50 day moving average was tested from uh, above. The, the market held there for a day but we had seen further decline. The 50 day moving average is not support until after the fact just like anything. The important thing to note here in the market is that we broke below an important level of support and now that important support at about 108.50 is more than likely to act as a level of resistance on any subsequent rally. So if we get some opening strength tomorrow, which it doesn't in indicate we will from the futures, but if we see some strength in the morning up towards that level, it's more than likely a good level to uh, get rid of some long positions you might not have been stopped out of and perhaps if you're an aggressive trader to get short looking for a continued move down lower uh, possibly towards the January highs near about 115 or so we had today that 108.15 level, 108.50 level uh, contested early on for that first hour of the day. Then it broke decisively below the daily volume weighted average price. A couple drives lower and we stayed below that volume weighted average price for the remainder of the day. And again, look at the volume. Look at it. Listen to the message of the market. The market has been saying that we've been turning sideways lately and we were very concerned about the heavier volume on those uh, sell-off days relative to the days when it advanced. Now we can look at this market and say that has been uh, something that has impacted this market and now there's likely to be a source of supply up above if this market rallies. So I don't think that the uh, selling has uh, uh, abated here yet. I think that we probably have some further downside to go. And as far as making new purchases, don't be sucked in just because of a 50-day moving average or any technical indicator. Technical analysis is an art, not a science, and we want to wait for this pattern on the 10 minute and 30 minute time frames of lower highs and lower lows to be interrupted. We want to see this five day moving average, which is now declining, to start flattening out to turning higher before we have any confidence really in buying the average stock on the long side. The NASDAQ was similar, similarly uh, damaged today as it broke below that $49 level, and it seems to be holding the 50 day moving average for now, but the January highs are still a potential level where this market could continue to sell off to and percentage wise it would be a lot worse for the Nasdaq but it's still a possibility and you look at this uh, support that was broken today near that $49 level that to me looks like the most likely area where in that general area that we're likely to find resistance so hold off on making any uh, bargain hunting uh, purchases because I th still think you're going to have a better opportunity to purchase stocks uh, at a lower price from here.